Why don't you try it right here? Let's have a look at that, okay? Wow. Uh. No, no, that's all wrong. Um, how about the door? Just put it on the door. Great. Right there. Absolutely. There. How's this, Your Highness? Uh, no. No. Uh, oh, right here. How about right here? Perfect. That's great. the spot, absolutely. Now all I need you to do is just hold it here so I can tack it up, please. Well, I have to stand back so I can see if it's centered. I can't see if it's centered unless I stand back. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's right at all. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm beginning to think all that talk about Christmas being ruined if I didn't stick around was just a way for you to get a manservant in the house. Manservants are good. Yeah. <laughs> Come here and help this manservant. Come over here for a second. Please. Okay. Thank you. Just don't take all day. No. <clears throat> what are you doing? I'm putting you in the winter circle. Are you the prize? Merry Christmas! Oh. Oops! <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh. God, if I didn't know any better, I think the big guy upstairs is trying to send us a message. No, oh, I doubt that. Not after everything we've been through. This is your captain. I apologize for the rough ride, but we hit a doozy of a storm front, and ground control informs me we can't go through it or around it. For everyone's safety, we're being diverted to the nearest airport. So oh, come on. We won't be making it to Pennsylvania tonight. Oh. Sorry, folks, but it looks like Mother Nature is ditching your holiday plans. Oh, come on. I can't believe it. I can't be right now. You're being a bit over... Reactive, don't you think? No, I'm not. Any lawyer that my father hires is going to put me on the stand and question me about killing my husband. Well, you can always claim self-defense. Because Henry wouldn't defend me against my father's abuse? Uh, it's not exactly a clear-cut case. And he knows what Jesse and Randy did to cover it up. My father will make sure it comes out. Yeah, you know, Jesse and I stayed up all night talking about this. And yes, there is a risk. But what's our choice? Send me back to my father? Oh, no, that is absolutely not an option. The man is evil, pure and simple, and he's got to be punished for what he did to you. Let the chips fall where they may. And what makes you so certain that you're gonna get off so easily? You know all you need to know for the time being. Namely, that I am an innocent man. Well, um... If you want me to mount a credible defense, you are going to have to tell me more than that. Well, <clears throat> I see you've hired a very talented lawyer. Good for you. You're going to need her. Do we really have to do this dance? Sure looks that way. My daughter is a sick woman. I have expert doctors that will swear to that. Well, your daughter seems to swear that you're the sick one. She blames me because she feels she's a victim of her life. The truth is, I love her, and I would do anything to protect her. Including beat her senseless if she tries to leave? Chief, a trial could get ugly. Very ugly. We both know that. Yeah, we do. Okay, you know what, this, enough of this playground talk. Gentlemen, I'm gonna need to see a statement from the alleged victim. Hey, give me a minute alone with the chief first. Uh, I don't think that's a very good idea. I know what I'm doing. Leave us. You like your job, Chief? Especially when I get to bring down people like you who think they're above the law. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can, because before you know it, you'll be out of a job before you can say obstruction of justice.